Hello, this is Lukar Zapotal, and in this video I would like to show you uh, how you can configure host group based provisioning with uh, Cotelo 3.4, which is the current stable version. So this is, a, I would say, a hidden feature of Foreman and Cotelo. And normally uh, the provisioning in Foreman uh, works that uh, you create a new host, give it a name, assign a host group or uh, change parameters. You can define uh, interfaces, operating systems, stuff like that. Once you hit submit, then you can boot it uh, using a Pixie, a Discovery boot disk. We have uh, plenty of options. Now, users request very often request um, Provisioning workflow when they do, don't need, they don't want to create uh, the uh, host entry in Foreman, and this is valid valid uh, option, valid valid work, workflow. It is also, you know, widely used in Satellite Five, so Satellite Five customers uh, likes this like this uh, scenario, and although we do have. Uh, several options there. We have a generic boot disk, we have a discovery, we have a pix uh, pixelated discovery, so Foreman and Catella offers actually more options there. Um, there is also a way of doing that in a, I would say, in quotes, satellite five ways. This is called, it's called uh, host group uh, provisioning. So, to do that, first of all, there's one little snack you need to know before uh, before you do that. Normally, with Cotelo plugin installed, so that, that that's Cotelo uh, installation of Foreman or Satellite. The way how things work from the content point of view is a little bit different, and uh, you don't work with uh, installation media. you work with a synced content. So every time a content is synced, for example, uh, I have on this inst instance, I have a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 to kickstart tree. You create edit, uh, you create host and host group with uh, this flag, this selection, media selection, synced content. And here you, you, you know, basically, select the content that has been promoted uh, into the content view. So according to your content view and content source uh, uh, and Lysok environment, uh, you will see a sync content uh, option over here, over here. Now this won't work. What you need to do is you need to ch change this to all media and sell explicitly sell up, select an installation media. In my case, I've created a media called Red Hat Labs underscore rel. If you choose to create an installation media, you, you need to head over to the host installation media here and create one. So if you're installing any uh, Linux distribution, you can easily, you know, sync the content and make a mirror. In case of Red Hat content, um, you actually use usually Catella for that. And since the synced content uh, option doesn't work in this case, it's a limitation uh, we'll hopefully fix in the future. You, what you can do is you can find the URL from an existing host. So in this case. Here's a host that has been provisioned, and if I go and review a provisioning template, I can clearly see that this is the URL. So this is my organization called MyOrg. The uh, environment is library. Uh, so I can copy that, and I can create... Uh, this installation media here. So the first step would be find an installation media path. So this depends on your environment, organization name, content view name. It always differs. 
So let's create a, let's say, rel seven um, my org library. The path is this one. Uh, this is a Red Hat uh, family. And I'm making sure the organization location is clicked. Checked. All right, so I have a new installation media now. I can, so for host group provisioning, obviously I need to have a host group. So I need to create a host group, fill in all the required parameters. Now it's very important you fill everything that's needed for provisioning. So including uh, operating system and here. So again, this won't work. So if you, if you leave it on sync content and uh, in the later uh, step, we'll uh, create what's called host group association, and we deploy a, what's, what's called default Pixie Linux template. It won't show up. It won't create a profile, so you won't be able to select this um, when booting a new host. So what, again, we want to click on all media, and wait. Uh, this is not. Uh, it's not showing up here because we haven't associated that with the operating system. So this operating system is called rel server 772 over here, installation media, and I want to select this one over here, the, the one we we've created. Now I can head over to host groups, select the rel server 72, switch over to operating system, click on all media, and now I will see my, my, my media over here, all right? So, so first, let me repeat that. First, creating installation media. You can either sync content using Cotello itself and find the URL from there. You can also, uh, if you have access to the satellite system, you can also go to the shell and and somewhere in var lib pulp uh, or var uh, actually var uh, docs pulp. And there you find all your repositories, which has been published. Um, and Kickstart trees are available as HTTP via HTTP. Other updates and stuff like that are available as HTTPS. So you'll find it there. Um, you can also use uh, well, well, browsing won't work. I think. Yeah, it, it does work. Actually, okay. So here I can, I can basically s go to my satellite slash repos. No, repos. My org. All right. So if you go to your satellite and slash pulp slash repos, you'll find an organization name, your environments, your your um, content views, and here you'll see your Kickstart trees, so you can you know go go here and find your, and um, and yeah this one this is the correct one the underneath the uh, uh, architecture. So this is one way to find uh, find or other way to find uh, uh, installation media path. So installation media first step, then create a host group. Third step, uh, second, sorry, for first create installation media, second step, uh, associate that with the operating system, and the third step, um, create a host group and make sure it has all the details, and also make sure that it's selected all media and uh, your media that you have created for that. What you can also test the provisioning using a create host first. That's uh, always a good idea, and then if that works, then you can um, try uh, this host group provisioning based uh, provisioning. Now, next step is associate um, a template with a host group. Now, what you can do here is you you would think that you basically take a Kickstart default Pixie Linux. So that's uh, sorry, uh, um, Kickstart rel default or uh, yeah, Kickstart rel default or Cotello rel default depends on uh, if you are using Cotello or satellite. There, uh, there's slight uh, naming change there. 
and and the way you do this is you go to association and here you add what's called valid combination and select host group and select environment. This is Puppet environment, non -cont and not content environment, and then click on submit. But this won't work because the templates we ship are highly, you know, um, parameterized. So as you can see, it, it takes a lot of options. These are uh, host parameters. It also you know, requires a lot of things from the context. So that's a uh, this at host variable and it requires it supports things like subnets if the subnet is set to static set static setting that it is able to configure your network using a static statement here as it needs a host IP so it needs a lot of information from the host but in host group provisioning you actually don't have any host yet it's basically you're booting into you know you're booting unknown system there is no context so if you would Let's just say this uh, with uh, host and uh, environment combination, and you would proceed with uh, host group provision. It would fail. Actually, it wouldn't. Would you wouldn't see this uh, actually rendered? It would be. Uh, it would be. Um, you would see an error. These errors are basically. First, it would error out with the safe mode doesn't allow you to call something and now after you go to administrator settings and safe mode uh, after you uh, you would enable safe mode or actually disable safe mode rendering you would see an actual error it would be something like host variable does not have method called IP or Mac so it wouldn't work so how to do this again so it's easy. You create uh, you, your your own kickstart. So let's say rel seven kickstart start rel seven kickstart, and I will just use a random kickstart from the I just googled out. So you basically create your own kickstart. The key point is here: you don't have any uh, any you know parameters here. You're not using add host at all because that doesn't exist. There's one slight change you need to do, though. The media, the URL here, that's the this line, URL dash dash URL equals HTTP something, Kickstart Media. That needs to be changed. So you can use uh, this construct. I will delete this, or I will comment out this. You can use um, the ERB syntax, and the variable name is media path. And that will use that will actually use the media you have selected uh, associated with this operating system, or you can also hard code this. So, so basically, what you can do is you can change this URL to the URL we have found. That would be something like that, uh, something like this slash pulp slash repos stuff like that. But then the media you have actually selected in the host group would be not used at all. So you can basically create a dummy installation media and then associate it and not use it at all or you can use that using the media path variable all right so I'll, I'll use the media path variable here and that's it I'm not you know changing anything else so it's a simple very simple kickstart all right now we can go um, and select the type of provisioning template we can associate this with operating system we want to use that would be RAL 7.2. And now we can do what's called a host group uh, combination. We need, to, we need to select the host group and environment, Puppet environment. Um, this is, you know, from the historical point of view. Uh, I mean, that that's uh, a historical way. Um, that has been... Um, there is a help screen here explaining how templates are being determined but you need to select uh, at least uh, as some environment um, there should be always a production environment if you if, if any if uh, satellite or kettle host checks in via puppet itself and that's it location organization are set so we have a new template called rel it's called rel7 uh, let's just double check uh, it's called uh, rel7 kickstart it has this 
as you can see here's this um, in the second column we see host group combination or this is also called host group profile or combination it's a type of progeny template uh, okay and that's it now to deploy those profiles those combinations uh, appear in the what's called pixel linux default template so we click on build pixel linux default and this will render the pixel linux and, and and also pixel grub 1 and pixel grub 2 default uh, templates to the system to your actually to all your of your tftp and smart proxies so i have it here this is the satellite server itself as you can see I have two items. I have already created on my kickstart uh, before, uh, and this one was created uh, in this uh, tutorial in this video. All right, so this is this template, uh, TFTP boot pixel in CFG slash default, is shown to all hosts which are unknown to the Catella or Foreman system. And by default, the, the uh, action is to after. 20 seconds uh, it on timeout local so it boots the first option which is local boot zero so that boots from the local disk so if there's a something installed it would uh, boot up if that's a clean machine it won't boot up so you can you have 20 seconds to select this and if you select the this rel 7 to rel 7 kickstart this is name of the operating system uh, this is name of the template it will start up and it will use the kickstart that has been associated with this and will uh, it will do this so yeah so uh, I can go and show you so let me repeat first you create an installation media so you need to find out what your installation media path is Secondly, create operating system. Uh, if it doesn't exist, or if it does exist, you find it and you associate this installation media. Third step, you create a host group, and you fill in all the required provisioning details, and you make sure that the, it's set to all media and the media is selected. Sync content won't work. If you do a sync content after rendering uh, your template, you know these items wouldn't be here; it would be empty because this is only added if there's an installation media present. Uh, when it's set to synced content, the installation media is actually provided by Catella plugin. And uh, fourth step was to create a template. Make sure that you're not using the templates we ship because these won't work. These are parameterized. Create your own template. You know, find it from internet. You can even use uh, server that has been provisioned using Foreman or Cardello or Satellite, and there should be there should be uh, uh, in the root folder. You should see Anaconda. Anaconda. Yeah, Anaconda. KS template. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of a lot of things. This one, but you can use that as well. So. Or you can search the internet and make sure that the media path is either provided using this variable or you can provide the URL you found. And then that's it. Uh, now, now I'm going to show you. I'm going to. There's virtual mush machine called rel73. And I hope this works. Yeah, cool. And I hope the, my keyboard will work. So this is a uh, this is a simple unknown machine. So it will boot up using. Okay, so we see the two items here. Second one we created. So it's booting up, and it should soon show Anaconda. Now it will be rendering the template. And yeah, that looks good because. We don't see any errors. It will be starting provisioning soon. So um, to wrap up, um, there's uh, this tiny issue uh, when installation media needs 
needs to be set to all media instead of synced content. And what is going on? Oh yeah, it's going, it's working. Screening swap and starting package installation process. So, so first of all, you need to know that the, you can't use all media. All media they will work with Perform and Core, but if you install Cotello, it will not work, and you need to make sure that synced content is not, you know, checked. Um, and then you need to create the, all the, those resources in order to get this working. Also remember that the, you can't uh, use uh, standard uh, Foreman or Cadello or satellite templates. You need to create your own templates that, where there are no parameters. You can't really use uh, at host variables. There are a few functions available you can use. And in the, when working with templates, so we, you know, let's suppose this works. If you edit a random template here, we do have a new help screen. This has just been introduced in 115 or on 114, not sure. And it, it explains some very basic, you know, uh, syntax of ERB templating. And it also shows you functions which are uh, available. Uh, things like form a URL or um, grub pass uh, and stuff like that uh, or lock uh, will work even in the in the host group uh, based provisioning but you can't really use uh, things like add host and um, a few others so here's the list and this is the the rest is um, uh, methods which are allowed to be called in safe mode mode Uh, so make sure you are using the, uh, your own template and not the one that is shipped. And then host group provision will work just fine. Um, one more thing in your template, you uh, oh yeah, I forgot, I totally forgot this. Uh, at the end of your Kickstarter template, you need to uh, register the system. If you you know, well, if you want, uh, I suppose you want to register your system in Form and Cotel. Uh, so that would be the easiest way would be install Puppet and just configure Puppet against Puppet Master that is going to integrate with Foreman and then, you know, do the first initial check-in. In this case, you need to make sure that the uh, host will be um, signed, so the host certificate will be signed, so you can use auto-signing or manual signing. And once the host will, you know, check in, it will appear in host all hosts and this um, host will be unmanaged so you know it will look like it wasn't uh, provisioned using Foreman or Catello, or Catello I believe okay so this is the uh, end of my video um, hope you like it thanks